Okay, guys, so um, I, I, if you're watching the press, uh, whether it's the Buffalo News or the New York Times or the Wall Street Journal or, or uh, any of these media outlets, um, I'm under siege. Uh, it's been going on for a couple of weeks, and uh, I don't care um, because I have the president's support. I know that because he's told me so. They're after me for two reasons, and want to hybrid it. I want to, uh, I want to tell you what they are, so you understand, and you understand that uh, I'm not going anywhere. They're going to have to kill me, and unfortunately, I think that's where this is going. The partisan Democrats, the conjugal media, and the scientists, the deep state scientists want America sick through November. They cannot afford for us to have any good news before November because they're already losing. Donald Trump right now, if the election were held today, would win. Not by much, not by much, and I want to talk about that for a minute, but he would win. And that's why Kamala Harris is out there talking like an anti-vaxxer. I know some people on my feed are against vaccines, and I encourage you not to get one to, if you don't want one. Uh, I encourage you to follow freedom to anywhere it leads. But I'm going to get a vaccine. In fact, as Assistant Secretary of Health, I'll be one of the first ones to get a vaccine. And I know it's safe because I'm involved in its development, not as, a, you know, just watching it closely. And let me tell you something. There is tons of positive news out there about this pandemic. And the Democrats can't have it. Their conjugal media can't have it. And there are scientists working for this government who do not want America to get better. Did you hear me? There are scientists who work for this government who do not want America to get well, not until after Joe Biden is, is president. It's a fact. I know it because I've heard it. They can, these people cannot, cannot allow America to get better, nor can they allow America to hear good news. It must be all bad news from now until the election. Frankly, ladies and gentlemen, that's sedition. They are sacrificing lives in order to defeat Donald Trump. Ladies and gentlemen, that's sedition. It's also, well, call it what you will. But when they let somebody get sick and die, there's one word for that. Right, this weighs really heavily on me. I think I mentioned this the last time I was on here. The first time I use my voice every day is to discuss a death. We count the dead and we discuss them first thing in the morning. Every day, it's now below a thousand, but for time, there was a time when it was, you know, five digits. It was a frightening time. Every day, people die. If you don't believe this virus is real, you're not waking up every morning and talking about dead Americans. It weighs heavily. I've been there four months now, maybe a little, little less. Honest to God, ladies and gentlemen, I don't want to talk about death anymore. I'm not going anywhere. They're not gonna run me out. If the president asks me to leave, I will leave. I really want to leave. Some of you who know me know that my health is failing. My mental health is definitely failing. I don't like being alone in Washington. The shadows on the ceiling in my apartment, they're alone. Those shadows are so long, 